gotta love bitter old men because kind of relate am i right hey what's up you guys it's avery from a very avid reader and welcome back to my channel for those of you who haven't been here before what's up welcome to the fold today i'm very excited because i'm going back to one of my very first videos that i ever posted which was exploring free little libraries around my city so i really enjoyed doing that video and it's been a while since i've done something like this plus i have quite a few books that i need to unhaul and get rid of so this is just a great way to do that and you know it's giving something back to the community but also taking things from the community it's like a little community exchange so i have around 10 10 books that I need to unhaul and these are just books that I have either read and didn't enjoy or have just been sitting on my shelf for years and I know deep down I'm never going to read them and so I just need to get rid of them. And I know some people do like unhauling videos where they talk about what they're getting rid of but I personally don't see the point in that when there's like a reason that I'm getting rid of these books and it's because I either didn't like them or don't want to read them. So. I don't really want to waste time talking about it. You'll see in the video some of the books that I'm giving away. That's all you really need to know is I don't want them. So I'm very excited for this video and I hope that you enjoy. I will have a vlog portion of the video of me going to the different little libraries and then at the end we'll come back and I'll talk about what I found. That's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoy and let's get into it. So I'm at my first little library. I'm excited for it because it actually looks to be pretty big, pretty extensive. So hopefully we'll find something fun. And yeah, let's let's give it a look. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see it. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see it. There must be something bad. That was a success, so I'm excited for my first one. I got Tenders the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. So that's a fun find. On to the next. Also, I'm injured. I'm at stop number two, and I didn't think about the fact that it's a Saturday, so people are just out and about doing yard work. And I'm like, hey, hey. I hate human interaction. Let's go. The beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They want to be her And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double Okay, so that was only my second little library and I've already had more success than my first video. That one was great, had a lot of good stuff in it. Had Pride and Prejudice, which I don't need because I have more than one copy. Had quite a few Nicholas Spark books in there. Had the book Redeeming Love, which I've seen the trailer, They're, they made a movie for that. Um, I didn't want to pick it up just because, I don't know, I already got two other ones that I was interested in but that was exciting. And yeah, I got two from there, which is great. And I'm very excited about this. Okay, next one. What's on the show? What's under the shadow smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something. You're kidding me. What? Y'all, what is going on? Because I don't know. But I just found the love hypothesis in this little free library. And if you don't know what this is, this is a really popular book that's going around right now on BookTube, on Book Talk. It's just all over the place because it was an ori originally a Star Wars fan fiction of uh, Kylo Ren and Rey. But now it's like a real book and so a lot of people have made videos about it and stuff but i'm so excited like what color me shook this is i'm having so much success okay on to the next i feel like i could stop now though and just be happy okay i just drove by one and they were outside on a ladder like in front of their house doing stuff and i just i couldn't okay i couldn't do it are you disappointed in me don't be 
You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. So I didn't pick anything up from that one, but I did leave a book because I do have books I just want to get rid of. Um, but that one had some good options in it. Just nothing that really, you know, drew my attention. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the vlog portion of this video. So I pretty much showed you all the books that I picked up in the vlog portion, but now I'm going to go into depth about what they are. So I actually only ended up getting four books, which I'm perfectly fine with. I think I ended up giving away maybe like eight of the books that I had, and I don't mind that there was a net decrease because Last time I did this video, I think I just thought that I should pick up a book from any library that I went to or anything that sounded mildly interesting. I was like, okay, like I'll get it. But now I know I don't really need to do that because I won't read them unless I am, you know, passionate about picking them up out of the library. So I just decided to only get ones that really called to me. And that's what I did. And I had some great finds, some surprising finds. Let's just get into it. The first book that I have from the first one that I went to is Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And I've been meaning to read more F. Scott Fitzgerald because I've read The Great Gatsby like every person ever has. And you know, I really enjoyed it. And I know he's such a great prominent author that I've always wanted to read more of his work. And this is a story about a young psychiatrist named Dick Diver whose career is thwarted and his genius numbed through marriage to the exquisite and wealthy Nicole Warren. That's all the description it gives on the back, so that just sounds interesting. Seems like F. Scott loves to write about some toxic relationships, and I'm just kind of excited to see what this book is about, and so yeah. That was the first one that I got. The next two books I got from the same little library, which is exciting. It was one that I went to that had quite a ton of good stuff in it. But the first thing that I was really excited to see was A Man Called Ove by Frederick Backman. And this book came out a few years ago, but I know it was really popular a few years ago and I've been meaning to read it. I've heard great things about it. And so I was very excited to see it sitting in this little library because it's a very popular book. It's basically about a very grumpy old man named Ove and a couple moves in next door to him with two daughters and they, I guess, introduce themselves by accidentally running over his mailbox with their U-Haul. And I'm pretty sure they become friends and, you know, start to thaw his cold, cold heart. It just seems cute. It sounds like it's gonna be a nice heartwarming tale of old people making friends and being less sad so yeah gotta love bitter old men because kind of relate am I right the next one I was very excited to see and that is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Marianne Schaefer and Annie Barrows and I love this movie. Love, love, love this movie. It's probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I am such a fan. It makes me cry every single time. And so I've always wanted to read the book. I knew it was based off a book. And so when I saw this in the little library, I was so excited. But it's about a writer who lives in London and she receives a letter from a stranger who is one of the founding members of the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, which is a society that some people on the island of Guernsey created while they were under German occupation in order to get together and read about books, read about books read books and talk about books and just kind of have a community of people since they were all very lonely on the island. In the movie there's romance between Juliet and the man who 
writes for the letter Dossie. I don't know if that is also in the book. Hopefully it is. I love some romance. But even if it's not, I'm still excited to read it because I love historical fiction as well as, you know, it's a book about people who came together to read. So love to see it. So the last and perhaps the most shocking find that I found, which you saw a little bit in the vlog, is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. And like I talked about a little bit in the vlog, this book is so popular right now. It is super popular on booktube, on booktalk, on bookstagram, all the all the books, just social medias. It was originally a fan fiction of Kylo Ren and Rey, which is so funny. And you can like, I don't know, kind of see it in the characters right here. So it's about a girl named Olive who is a third year PhD student. And she has this fake relationship with this young professor named Adam, who is a well-known ass, as the description says. So it's a fake relationship type trope where you can tell they are into each other, but they have this fake relationship that they're keeping up. And I think it's also a little like enemies to lovers. I don't think they like each other very much. And I don't really know much about why they start this fake relationship. And they're both scientists as well. And so that's why it's called The Love Hypothesis. But I've just heard it's really good and it's a great romance read. I'm very excited. This will probably be the next book that I read after I finish what I'm currently reading. I was just so surprised to find this nice hardback version of the book in this free little library. And it's a book of the month edition. And there was another book of the month book in that library. So I assume maybe the owners are book of the month subscribers. And so after they read their books, they just put them in the library. So I might make it a monthly occurrence to just stroll by that particular free little library you know so i was very excited to find this one so those are all the books that i picked up in this video only four but i'm happy with all four that i got i really think that getting quality books instead of just getting a large amount of books that sound okay is a better way to go so i'm really excited about this i definitely encourage you to find free little libraries in your area there is a website where you can put your address in and find all the registered free little libraries around you so i will have that linked in the description it's also a great way to get rid of some books because Obviously, you can donate books to Goodwill or try to sell them to used bookstores, but this is a great way to kind of exchange and you get something and you take something and thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've read any of the four books that I picked up in this video and what you thought about them. And let me know what the best thing that you've ever found at a free little library is. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.